lovely picnic, wasn't it? You know, these woods we're in remind me of a story my grandpa told me when I was a cub. Once upon a time, in a village by the sea, there lived a little bear and his mother. The bear's grandma had made him a bright red cloak with a hood, which the bear loved so much he wore it all the time. Everyone in the village called him Little Teddy Riding Hood. Little Teddy Riding Hood's grandma used to be a very active sort of bear, but by the time our story starts, she was so frail she couldn't leave her cottage. Her family delivered things she needed to her, like food and books. One day, Little Teddy Riding Hood's mother was too busy to take his grandma her new books and collect the ones she had read, so she asked him to go. Little Teddy Riding Hood agreed, picked up the basket of books and set off to the forest where his grandma lived. As he strolled along, he was approached by a big grey wolf who thought the basket might be full of delicious food he could steal. Where are you going, little bear? he asked. I'm taking this basket of books to my grandma who lives in the forest, little Teddy Riding Hood replied. Even better, the wolf thought to himself. Out loud, he said, surely your grandma would like a bunch of flowers as well. Little Teddy Riding Hood thought this was a good idea and began to pick some flowers. The wolf backed away until he was out of sight and then ran to find Grandma Bear's house. Once he found it, the wolf peered through the window and saw Grandma sitting up in bed reading. He knocked on the door. Come in, called Grandma. The wolf ran in, bundled Grandma up and locked her in the cupboard under the stairs. Then he put on her glasses, climbed into bed, pulled the bed covers up to his neck and settled in to wait. Shortly after, little Teddy Riding Hood arrived at the cottage with a bunch of flowers and the basket of books. He knocked on the door. Come in, called the wolf. Little Teddy Riding Hood entered and put the flowers in a vase of water. Hello, Grandma. I've got you some flowers and some new books. Would you like me to read one to you? He asked. Yes, please, said the wolf. Little Teddy Riding Hood picked a book, sat down by the bed and stirred. Grandma, he said. What big eyes you've got! All the better to see the pictures with, said the wolf. But Grandma, said Little Teddy Riding Hood, feeling a bit frightened, what big ears you've got! All the better to hear the story with, said the wolf. But Grandma, said Little Teddy Riding Hood, feeling very scared now. What big teeth you've got! All the better to chew the pages with, growled the wolf, and he jumped out of bed. Little Teddy Riding Hood screamed, Aah! but the wolf snapped the book up with his teeth. Out in the forest, a local librarian heard the scream. Oh dear, I'd best check that Grandma Bear is all right. She ran to the cottage, rushed in and saw the wolf shaking a book in his mouth, torn pages flying everywhere. Stop that right now, she sternly told the wolf, who was so taken aback that he did. The librarian was very cross and gave the wolf such a telling off that he ran away, feeling very ashamed. Thank you 
said little Teddy Riding Hood as they let his grandma out of the cupboard and sat down for a nice cup of tea. Always here to help, smiled the librarian. I just hope that wolf has learnt his lesson and doesn't do this again. And he didn't. Well, I hope that wasn't too scary for you. And I hope that you'd never treat a book as badly as that wolf did. And now, I fancy a cup of tea myself. <laughs>